these are things you must have fulfilled in your ear before you can go on Holy Ghost of God in the earth today Holy Ghost of God in the earth today The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrop thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us Matthew chapter 19 verse 1 and it came to pass when Jesus had finished saying things he departed and moved on Jesus had a ministry of saying things and we know many times he would say he that has ears to hear let him hear Luke 4 and 21 says this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears Jesus had a ministry of saying things and that ministry was fulfilled when those words got to the person's ear something about God that when he says something as far as he's concerned that's it it's a done deal as soon as that word gets to your ear then it's finished it's fulfilled then you have something to do about it it's fulfilled in your ear and as we saw in Matthew 19 verse 1 Jesus had a ministry of saying things and when he finished saying the things he moved on it says he departed after saying those things well there's many things that need to be said and you must get them you must hear them first before you can move on well I too have a ministry of saying things I am a sent one with a message and a message one that you may not have heard before isn't that the whole idea of sending someone with a message that you would hear something that you might not have heard before and it's quite possible that before me being sent to you there was no fulfillment of those words in you there was no fulfillment of the Lord of Spirits in you much like 2nd Corinthians 3 17 says now the Lord is that spirit and you may not have heard that you should worship the Lord God who is that spirit and worship him as God in the earth today but if you do worship him let's look at that second Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit what spirit the Holy Ghost now the Lord is the Holy Ghost that spirit and where the Spirit is Lord or the Spirit of the Lord is there is Liberty now the Lord is that Spirit so you've come into a now where the Lord is that Spirit and where the Lord is that Spirit there's Liberty where that has happened there's a Liberty to worship him that you didn't have before now that the Lord is that Spirit so first there's a liberty to worship him and if you knew him the Holy Ghost as God you would worship him but the second Liberty once you worship him knowing him as God now the Lord is that spirit the second Liberty is a transforming Liberty you are transformed into something else into someone else this worshiping of him liberty takes you from one glory to another glory verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord that you didn't behold until you began worshiping him are changed 
transformed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord or the Spirit Lord I've been changed worshiping him I've been changed by doing this but oftentimes you see that many and most other people don't they don't worship him and therefore they can't be transformed in this way but I do worship him and I cannot go back to the ways that I used to walk in before I began worshiping him in fact there should be a warning attached to these messages about Holy Ghost worship say Holy Ghost worship what do you suppose Holy Ghost worship is worshiping the Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost in any of these messages listen any of these messages messages that you've been presented with begin to take you behind the veil where the Spirit is Lord and you begin worshiping him and being transformed by it but the warning should be attached to this message new glory forbids reversal you can't go back the warning sign no going back and it's a little unnerving because you don't really know what's next and you may not understand what's being set before you but there's a whole new universe say universe what does una mean one or only there's a whole new only verse there is an only verse in front of you where the spirit is lord where the lord is that spirit this is our universe that we walk in where the spirit is lord second corinthians 3 17 says now the lord is and where the spirit is lord there is liberty only there is liberty say only there is liberty where where the spirit is lord there only is liberty luke chapter 4 verse 8 thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only shalt thou serve thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only shalt thou serve the only applies to the worship and to the serving when i say i worship you holy ghost only or i say the words holy ghost only that's exactly what i mean thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only shalt thou serve now the lord is that spirit thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only shalt thou serve now the lord is that spirit what spirit holy ghost thou shalt worship the lord thy god holy ghost who whom i have come to know is the lord my god in the earth today and him only serve are you getting this you worship him only and you serve him only only becomes a great asset knowing him only as the lord your god and serving him only as the lord your god and we know that we serve him by speaking in agreement with his word these are things you must have fulfilled in your ear before you can go on i have many things to say to you many places where we must go on but you have to have this fulfilled the holy ghost is the only god in the earth today and you walk with him and worship him and serve him only the lord your god isaiah chapter 8 verse 13 sanctify the lord of hosts himself that could be translated the lord of spirits or literally the lord of armies that would be 
the Holy Ghost he is the Lord of spirits he's the number one spirit he's the Holy Spirit sanctify set apart make holy separate the Lord of spirits the Holy Ghost himself and let him be your fear and let him be your dread this becomes your greatest asset can you see that by that verse of scripture him only separate him to be the Lord your God himself the New King James Version says separate the Lord of hosts him you shall hallow make holy let him be your fear let him be your dread who the Lord of Spirits now the Lord is that spirit Holy Ghost I'm telling you you must get this in order to go on and most of the body of Christ hasn't got it at all they're off doing something else but the Holy Ghost he is God in the earth today and you walk with him by speaking in agreement with his word him only shalt thou serve get this straight you may have to listen to this message over and over until it gets down on the inside of you and drives out all the garbage that's been put in there over the years thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve what if the Holy Ghost is the only God in the earth today who are you supposed to worship Jesus said God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth Daniel chapter 6 verse 16 thy God whom thou servest continually he will deliver thee is that good news is that an asset thy God whom thou servest continually we know that we serve the Lord our God the Holy Ghost by speaking in agreement with his word Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night the word meditate means to mutter so you're not gonna let the word depart out of your mouth meaning it's gonna be in your mouth say the word is in my mouth day and night and I mutter it that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success when will you be prosperous when will you have good success when the word doesn't depart out of your mouth it's in your mouth continually only say only thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve Daniel 6 16 says thy God whom thou servest continually he will deliver thee true or not true it's most assuredly true and that is an enormous asset a most prized possession and one of the greatest assets you can have God's Word in your mouth but when you worship him and you enter the room of Holy Ghost worship and you begin speaking his word only out your mouth you worship him only you speak his word only your view of Scripture changes you no longer are the needy one looking for some kind of help but you begin reading it as one who agrees for this is my word now and I have whatsoever I say this beauty comes from within and it's not superficial wealth comes from the inside out youth renewal comes from the inside out it blooms on the inside first and then it shows up on the outside the wealth the youth renewal the fire 
Colossians 3 verse 10 put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him you can't have this knowledge without worshiping him and in this we go from glory to glory from one of his glories to another one of his glories you understand it's his glory it gets in us and comes out of us and we wear it we begin to move on and you see that you can't move on without this knowledge of him Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 3 and one cried unto another and said holy 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 is the Lord of hosts we know the Lord of hosts to be the Lord of spirits the Holy Ghost holy 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 is the Lord of hosts can you agree with me that that is worship they are worshiping the Lord of hosts they are worshiping the Lord of spirits they are worshiping the Holy Ghost and they go on and say the whole earth is full of his glory what's full of his glory the earth is full of his glory worship of him precedes the earth being full of his glory if you don't worship him there's no hope of the earth being full of his glory we are in the earth we are changed from one glory to another glory even as by the Spirit Lord and the whole earth shall be full of his glory are you getting this but you'll never get here unless you go there I worship you Holy Ghost first thank you Holy Ghost that you have impressed upon these people this message that it has come to their ears where it has been fulfilled and those who have heard will begin to rise up into a new place and enter a new room where they can go from one glory to another glory until they are manifestors and begin manifesting the glory of the Lord which covers the earth like the waters cover the sea we thank you Holy Ghost for it in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Lord of Spirits I worship you you are God in the earth today there is nothing impossible to you and I worship you and this becomes a great asset to me wealth and riches shall be in my house and your glory shall cover the earth in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today